5th edition D&D books. Player's Handbook. Literally the only one you need to play the game and run the game. Dungeon Master's Guide. Helps you to jump in and start fleshing out your worlds, creating some homebrew, and it's got a lot of good magic items. Monster's Manual. Self-explanatory. Bolo's Guide to Monsters. Basically like another version of the PHB. Adds a whole slew of monstrous races. Mordecanus Tome of Foes. Also adds more. Xanathar's Guide to Everything. Unearthed Arcana. Compiled, put together, playtested, made legit. Crash's Cauldron of Everything. Basically takes your player choices, turns them into origins. You can swap around your pluses. This bans treasury dragons. You want more dragons in your D&D? This is what it is. Campaign guide, Sword Coast Adventures. Gives a lot of good locations. Fleshes out a couple more things for your characters to have as backstories and subclasses. Guildmaster's Guide to Ravnica adds the Magic the Gathering type of stuff in there for you. Acquisitions Incorporated. Pretty good book. Interesting. Comes at more of a uh, office version of D&D. Eberron. If you like steampunk, like Warforged, like Shifters, Artificers, this is definitely the book to grab. Spoiler's Guide to Wildmount. Basically the campaign setting for Season 2 of Critical Role. Really, really, really good. Has a lot of areas. Very detailed. Mystic Oddities, Oddities of Theros. Basically it's Theros inside of your D&D. It's another Magic of the Gathering setting. Van Richten's Guide to Ravenloft. If you played Strahd, you want to do more with the Domains of Dread and add some undead classes and stuff like that to your game, this is definitely a really good grimdark, really good horror. Ghost of Saltmarsh. It's Goonies, but D&D. Waterdeep Dragon Heist. Basically like Oceans, whatever, for D&D. Pretty cool. Levels 1 through 5. If you finish that and you want to go actually in, there's Dungeon of the Man Mage. You can take those 1 to 5 level characters, go 6 to 20 in a huge dungeon delve. Um, basically, it's like Saw. Yeah. Curse of Strahd. Go to Barovia. Fight vampires. Lift a curse. Be a hero. Out of the abyss. Jailbreak. Tome of Annihilation. Go to Sarax Tomb on the island of Cholt. Maybe fight a zombie T-Rex. Do some other cool stuff. Uh, the implementation of a soulmonger is pretty good because it allows... Puts characters on a timeline. Also has some pretty good exploration to it. Princes of the Apocalypse. Elemental Colts, Fighting, Pretty Metal, Storm King's Thunder, uh, Jerry Springer, but with Giants. Everybody's dysfunctional, everybody's battling. Boulder Skate Descent into Avernus. Pack your bags, we're going to hell. Uh, Tyranny of Dragons is Horde of the Dragon Queen and Rise of Tiamat all put together in one hardcore book. So if you want to play both those adventures at the same time and get some pretty good looking pictures and stuff like that, that's the one I'd go for. Wild Beyond the Witchlight. Let's run away and go to a carnival. Live your Peter Pan fantasy. 
Icewind Dale, Rhyme of the Frost Maiden. Let's go to the Frozen North. See what awaits us. Possibly die. Uh, kind of like Naked and Afraid meets Blair Witch. All right, Tales from the Yawning Portal. This is just a collection of a whole bunch of stuff to run, and with the new stuff that's coming out, you can pretty much find seven adventures to use and use the Yawning Portal area playset as a as a good little adventure hook to start in. Next, Candle Keep Mysteries. Another collection of one-shot adventures that you can run. Both Tales from the Yawning Portal and Candle Keep Mysteries. I would say if somebody doesn't show up, use them to run as a side adventure if you need to kill some time between getting everybody together. Or you can just go through and liberally borrow ideas out of this book to put in for your own adventures. Now, some other bonus ones. Yeah. The monsters know what they're doing. Yes, you can run your monsters intelligently. You can make them a threat. You can make them act accordingly, use tactics. This whole book describes how and when monsters would react. Uh, first half of the books is just basically how to mess with your players and make sure you're keeping them on your toes, running your monsters intelligently, not like cannon fodder. And then the next half of the book basically goes A to Z, like an encyclopedia, and it tells you about all the monsters and what they would be thinking, what they'd be doing. Heroes Feast, the official D&D cookbook. Made a couple things out of here. I'd highly recommend the York Bacon for your next party. Ultimate Grim Tooth Traps. This right here has five volumes in it. If you want to mess with your players and come up with some truly diabolical things, you can do that. And then Art and Arcana. This is basically going through D&D from the very start, showing absolutely amazing and wondrous pictures of D&D through its creation, the iterations, First, second, third, I don't really talk about fourth, fifth. We can uh, go through, find the inspiration, how monsters have changed, like the evolution of the Roper. Uh, it's a pretty good thing to look through, kind of get that amazing fantasy vibe, maybe add some inspiration to your games.